Good afternoon. Welcome to Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden for our Do the Right Thing Student Recognition Ceremony, which is presented by Gaston County Schools and sponsored by the Gaston Gazette. I am Todd Hagens from the Gaston County Schools Communications Department, and it is a pleasure to have each of you with us this afternoon. The Do the Right Thing program honors students in Gaston County Schools who distinguish themselves by their commendable actions. The students have exhibited outstanding attitudes, accomplishments, and efforts that make them positive role models for their peers. From October through April, two elementary school students, a middle school student, and a high school student have been recognized each month as our Do the Right Thing Award winners and featured in the Gaston Gazette and on the Gaston County Schools website, social media, and Channel 21. The students were nominated for the award by their principal or the principal's designee. Today is our end of year celebration that brings all of our Do the Right Thing winners together and gives them a chance, gives us a chance to applaud their efforts to always doing the right thing. We would like to thank the Gaston Gazette for sponsoring this wonderful recognition program, and we appreciate Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden for hosting our student award winners and their guests here at the garden. Now, we had hoped for beautiful spring weather with sunshine and pleasant temperatures so our ceremony could be held outdoors in the Levine Pavilion, but today it is cloudy, rainy, and chilly. I understand that the April showers bring May flowers here at the Daniel Stowe Botanical Gardens, so and we're, we're grateful for the rain. Fortunately, we are able to be inside here in the Visitor's Pavilion, which is, serves as a gateway of sorts to the beautiful garden area here at Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden. At this time, to offer our official welcome from the Gaston County Board of Education, it is a pleasure to introduce our chairman, Mr. Jeff Ramsey. Well, thank you, Todd. Yeah, I remember last year where it's really nice outside and the sun was shining, so it's not raining for about five minutes, but on the way down, it poured down rain. So good afternoon. We are so glad that all of you are with us today. On behalf of Gaston County Board of Education, I am pleased to welcome you to do the right thing ceremony today. Uh, I would like to take a moment to introduce a couple of our board members that are with us today. I see Doc Cherry, our vice chair, and in the back here in the yellow sweater. And we do have Josh Chris at Dallas Township. And I just want to welcome them that be with us here today. Thank you for being here. And everything we do, we know that we should always strive to do the right thing. But sometimes, for some people, that is not what always happens. But for these students being honored this afternoon and doing what is right is the top of their list. And we want to thank them for that. At this, at, as the students here today are already know, when you do the right thing, no matter what the situation, you come out on top. You earn the respect of your peers and the admiration of your teachers. And there is a good feeling associated with knowing that you made the right decision and did the right thing. I think that's a pretty important rule following in life with you or the students or the adult. Above all else, doing the right thing leads us in having a positive results. Congratulations to all the students being honored here today. And thank you for the Gas Gazette for sponsoring this ceremony. Please know how much we appreciate all of you being here today and celebrate with us to do the right thing and award winnings. We hope you enjoy the program. Thank you. Now it is a pleasure to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. W. Jeffrey Booker. Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us today. It is always an honor to be among people who do the right thing. And today we have 28 of our students who will be recognized for their accomplishments during the year and where they were selected for do the right thing. When I think about how we recognize people 
Most of us get recognized in social media when we mess something up. <laughs> right? Yes. That makes famous things. But when people do good things, that ends up on page 10 of the paper. Mm -hmm. But today, you're on the front page of the paper. Because when we see people who demonstrate character traits that are worth recognizing, we know to pause and th say, that is part of being a great student in Gaston County Schools. Because when you rise to the situation, you rise above all the chatter of social media. And I say all that about the media, and we're here to thank the Gazette for sponsoring the program. <laughs> but we are proud to have a partner like the Gazette and the numerous things that they do to contribute to us. And so we have kept another surprise for this event today. Each student, as an addition to the plaque that they will receive, will receive three tickets to go to the Honey Hunters game, as well, when they're there, a free pizza from Domino's. So let's recognize the Honey Hunters and their sponsorship of this. <laughs> Another partner that's participating in that, if you go to the Honey Hunters game, you will see it is called Caramont Health Park. And Caramont Health is a great partner of Gaston County Schools, and they are underwriting all of the cost of those tickets as well as the pizza. So let's recognize Caramont Health as well. <laughs> Many of you know who Lou Holtz is. He was a famous coach at the University of South Carolina as well as the University of Notre Dame. He went on to be a great broadcaster. He had a thing that he said, I follow three rules in life. Do the right thing, do the best you can, and always show people you care. These students have exhibited what Mr. Holtz would say are key three rules of life. So I look forward to recognizing each of these students. And let's welcome Todd Hagens back so that we can recognize the students with us today. Mr. Hagens. Thank you, Dr. Booker. Now we are ready to meet our Do the Right Thing Student Award winners. I will introduce the students by the month in which they were recognized in the Gazette and have the students come forward and stand on the X's that we have here on the floor up front. We would like for the principal or the school designee to accompany their student to the front of the room and stand with them as they are being recognized. A few of our students could not be with us today, so we would like for the principal or the school designee to come forward to accept the award on behalf of the student. I will share some information about each student, and then after the students for that month are recognized, Superintendent Booker and Chairman Ramsey and members of the board will present to the students their Do the Right Thing plaque, a copy of the Do the Right Thing advertisement that appeared in the Gazette, and an envelope that contains the vouchers provided by Caremont Health for the free baseball tickets and pizza at a Gastonia Honey Hunters baseball game this summer. So we begin our recognition with the Do the Right Thing student award winners for the month of October. At this time, with Darla Mataldi from Kaiser Elementary, Journey Jones from Bessemer City Primary, Valentina Gomez from Cramerton Middle, and Jack Hayes from South Point High School, please come forward at this time so that you can be recognized. And I think Darla, you may be the only one out of this group. So um, Ms. Brucey here with Darla, we would like to recognize now Darla Mataldi from, that's not Darla. That's Valentina. Okay, we have two of our students. We'll begin with, Darla Mataldi from Kaiser Elementary and her principal, Lorinda Brucey, is with us to accept the award for Darla. Darla goes above and beyond to make sure students in her class feel included and welcome. When a new student who did not speak English came to Kaiser, she went home and researched common phrases to communicate with the student to make him feel more comfortable at school. Also a part of this group is Journey Jones from Bessemer City Primary who could not be with us today. I would like to share about Journey. Journey is always looking out for others. She gives special attention to making sure her peers feel included. Her teacher describes her as a good friend to her classmates and says that others are drawn to her because she is so kind. 
Now we have Valentina Gomez from Cramerton Middle School. Valentina always does the right thing when help is needed. And as a bilingual student, she has volunteered to translate and be a guide for new classmates who have come to Cramerton Middle School. This is a prime example of doing the right thing. Will you join me in applauding Valentina? Also for the month of October, we would like to recognize Jack Hayes from South Point High School. He could not be with us this afternoon. Jack has a passion for coding and helping others. During one of his digital design classes, Jack spent a good amount of time helping another student complete an assignment. He volunteered to move closer to the student so that he could help him learn a new skill. Jack Hayes from South Point High School. And at this time, we will ask Dr. Booker and Chairman Ramsey to present the awards. Let's congratulate our Do the Right Thing winners for October. Thank you very much. Now we would like to recognize the Do the Right Thing Student Award winners for the month of November. They are Cora Sisk from Costner Elementary, Brian Craig from Rankin Elementary, Christian Burnett from W.C. Friday Middle School, and M.J. Ferguson from Stuart W. Kramer High School. If those students with us come forward at this time. And I would like to read about these four students. Cora Sisk is from Costner Elementary. Cora gives extra effort to make sure one of her classmates, who is physically limited, is never left out. She takes the necessary equipment out to recess and plays with her friend every day. She has never been asked to do this, but she made the decision on her own. Brynn Craig is from Rankin Elementary School. Brynn works hard to be successful and to help others. Brynn noticed that another student needed help during math, and without disrupting the class or getting off task, she went over to help him. She sets a great example for other students to follow. Christian Burnett from WC Friday Middle School, a seventh grader in the Leadership Academy, Christian noticed that some students had left behind a mess during lunch. With, without being asked to do so, he cleaned up the trash and threw it away. He wasn't expecting praise for demonstrating leadership, but he did the right thing when he thought no one was watching. And M.J. Ferguson from Stuart W. Kramer High School. While M.J. used to consider himself the class clown, he will tell you now that he wants to have a positive influence on the people around him. Serving as a mentor to a group of ninth grade students, MJ wants to advocate for others and motivate them to do better. MJ Ferguson from Stuart W. Kramer High School. And for now for the presentation of awards. Let's have a round of applause for our November Do the Right Thing Award winners. Thank you all for being with us. Now, the Do the Right Thing Award winners for December are 
Sam Stoner from Page Primary, Tristan Cooper from Gaston Virtual Academy, Nevaeh Bale from Greer Middle School, and Nicole Valverde Cordero from North Gaston High School, if those students would come forward. Sam Stoner is from Page Primary School. Sam looks out for others, helps to encourage his peers, and is always a team player. According to his teacher, Sam regularly plays with students who feel excluded at recess and makes sure they are invited to play games with him. Sam Stoner from Page Primary School. <laughs> Tristan Cooper is from the Gaston Virtual Academy. Tristan is bright, considerate, respectful, and eager to learn. He makes sure to listen and follow directions, and he goes above and beyond to do well in class. Tristan is also willing to help others if they need it. Tristan Cooper from the Gaston Virtual Academy. Nevaeh Nevea Bell from Greer Middle School. Nevea is the first student in class each morning and she shows initiative by carrying out classroom duties without being asked. Nevea is an outstanding student who always tries her best and lends a helping hand when needed. And Nicole Valverde Cordero from North Gaston High School. Nicole uses her experience in being a new student to help others feel welcome. When a new student came to North Gaston, Nicole reached out to help the student navigate the ups and downs of attending a new school. Nicole Valverde Cordero from North Gaston High School. And I believe Nicole just joined us. So we are glad to have Nicole from North Gaston High School with us to receive her. Let's have a round of applause for our students for the month of December. Thank you all. The Do the Right Thing Award winners for the month of January are Josiah Maynard from Gardner Park Elementary, Beverly Smith Burney from Linkerfelt Elementary, Jasmine Reed from Holbrook Middle School, and Joseph Armitage from Hunter Huss High School. If those students are with us, please come forward at this time. Josiah Maynard from Gardner Park Elementary School. Josiah is a patient and understanding friend. He goes out of his way to listen to others and to make sure they feel heard. When a student was struggling with the end of day transition, Josiah took it upon himself to calm the student down and be the student's friend. Beverly Bernie Smith from Lingerfelt Elementary. Beverly is constantly helping others without being asked to do so. Her teacher says she is kind, thoughtful, and helpful, and is consistently on her best behavior. Beverly serves as a fifth grade mentor for younger students and does her best to set a good example for them. Jasmine Reed from Holbrook Middle School. Jasmine stands out among her peers because of her strong character. After a bullying prevention training, Jasmine got permission from her teacher to write the information she had learned during the presentation on the whiteboard in her class to share the information with her classmates. And Joseph Armitage from Hunter Huss High School. Joseph is an outstanding student, athlete, and leader. When he found out that one of his classmates was experiencing homelessness, Joseph worked together with the school staff staff to organize a benefit at his church and was able to raise $400 to help the family. Let's have a round of applause for our Do the Right Thing winners for the month of January. Now for the presentation of awards. <clears throat> Let's
let's have a round of applause for our January students. Thank you all. The Do the Right Thing students for the month of February are Caitlin Dockery from WABS Elementary, Ladarius Pratt from Lowell Elementary, Ezreal Adams from Southwest Middle School, and Autumn Queen from Gaston Early College of Medical Sciences, if those students would come forward at this time. Caitlin Dockery from WABS Elementary. Caitlin has a heart for animals. Caitlin approached her school's principal with an idea for a service project to collect items for the Gaston low-cost spay and neuter clinic. She placed bins around the school to help collect food, blankets, toys, and other items for the animals. Ladarius Pratt from Lowell Elementary. Ladarius is hardworking and always looking for a way to help out in class and around the school. When he found money in the hallway, he immediately picked it up and turned it into the front office. His integrity and honesty make him stand out among his peers. Azriel Adams from Southwest Middle School. Azriel is always friendly, polite, and goes out of her way to help when she sees a need. Azriel comes into the cafeteria every day, eats her lunch, and then helps the custodian clean up. She is a self-starter who volunteers to help out whenever there is a need. An Autumn Queen from the Gaston Early College of Medical Sciences. Autumn is positive and kind to all students. Autumn was recognized for her positive attitude and being willing to assist others in her learning lab and American history classes. She is happy to help her peers when they are struggling with the subject or project. Our Do the Right Thing winners for the month of February, please congratulate them at this time. Now we have the awards to be presented. Our student award winners for February. Give them one more round of applause. Thank you all for being with us. Now we have the Do the Right Thing award winners for the month of March. Josiah Sutton from Brookside Elementary School. Jayla Matthews from Pinewood Elementary School. Jackson Kovacus from Mount Holly Middle School, and Yara Rodriguez Enriquez from East Gaston High School. If those students would come forward at this time. Josiah Sutton from Brookside Elementary. Josiah has become a great role model for his classmates and is a positive influence on them. A perfect example of a stu student doing the right thing, Josiah is kind, smart, and thoughtful, and he cares about helping others do their best. Jayla Matthews from Pinewood Elementary School. Jayla is eager to volunteer to help. She is the last one out of the classroom for lunch and at the end of the day because she often stays behind to clean up. Always happy and helpful, Jayla has never been asked to help with these responsibilities, but does so out of the goodness of her heart. Jackson Kovacus from Mount Holly Middle School. Jackson is a member of the Unified Champions Club, which serves to include students with special needs in the school community. He has been a standout leader in the club and has taken it upon himself to build friendships and spend time with students in the school's adaptive curriculum class. And Yara Rodriguez Enriquez from East Gaston High School. Yara has a smile that lights up a room and she is so kind to everyone she meets. When the school had multiple Spanish-speaking students enrolled this year, Yara was there to lend a helping hand to interpret. She has welcomed many students to the school with open arms, and she is a great example of what it means to be a good friend. Let's congratulate 
our Do the Right Thing Award winners for the month of March. Now for the presentation of awards. Let's have a round of applause for our students for the month of March. Thank you and congratulations. And now we have our Do the Right Thing student winners for the month of April. They are Jackson Reinhardt from Springfield Elementary, Hayden Martin from Chapel Grove Elementary, Sanaya Ratchford from Bessemer City Middle School and Andrew Farrell from Forest View High School. If those students would come forward at this time. Jackson Reinhardt from Springfield Elementary. Jackson is a great example of what it means to be focused, self-disciplined, and a good role model. He chooses to do the right thing consistency, consistently and always stays true to himself. Hayden Martin from Chapel Grove Elementary. Hayden goes above and beyond to be kind to others. She offers to help her classmates and teachers whenever needed. Hayden has exhibited great leadership skills in extracurricular activities like robotics and battle of the books. Sanaya Ratchford from Bessemer City Middle School. Sanaya has integrity and always makes good choices, even when she thinks no one is looking. During a school-wide celebration, Sanaya was given the incorrect change from the concession stand. She did the right thing and returned the money right away. And Andrew Farrell from Forest View High School. Andrew is a hardworking student who is always kind and welcoming towards others. He never hesitates to offer help. Recently, Andrew went out of his way to support a teacher when the teacher needed help getting a wheelchair to campus after hours. Let's have a round of applause for our Do the Right Thing Award winners for the month of April. And now for the presentation of awards to our April winners. Thank you all, and let's have one more big round of applause for all of our Do the Right Thing student award winners for the 2022-23 school year. Thank you very much. We invite all of you to enjoy our dessert reception out in the lobby area. And once again, we would like to express our appreciation to the Gaston Gazette, Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden, and Caramont Health for helping us make this recognition program possible. We would like to mention that the garden is hosting the Opening Doors to Spring exhibit now through June the 18th. The exhibit features doors with springtime scenes that were painted by students at the Highland School of Technology. We would like to thank everyone here at the Garden for working with Highland on this wonderful exhibit. We also would like to thank Guilty Pleasures Catering and Bakery for our reception, my team in the Communications Department, our Facilities Department, and our Business Partnerships Office for working to ensure a successful program for our honorees.
Today's program is being recorded for broadcast on Spectrum Channel 21, which is the education station for Gaston County Schools. And we would like to say a special thank you to our principals, school representatives, and central office administrators who are here today to support this program. We also want to acknowledge the parents of our Do the Right Thing Student Award winners. There, there is no question about it that the parents are the proudest people in this room. Thank you all for being with us and we hope you have a great evening.